right, guys. Well, thank you all for coming out. Thanks to Awesome Inc. for having us out at Five Across. And with that, we're going to keep the energy going with some paper, rock, scissors. <laughs> all right. So give it up for Ryan, our winner. Now, I want you guys to stop, and I want you to think. If you had had a stroke, would you be able to move your hand quite as fast as Ryan or Saruja did? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk a little bit about stroke. So, your body is working all fine, and then, boom, your, <coughs> your blood supply gets blocked off to your brain, and then from here, part of your brain dies, and it's no longer able to send signals to or receive them from parts of your body. And if that happens to be your hand, you can't use it for a while, and then eventually it just turns up this tight fist. And in order to get that fixed, you have to go to rehabilitation. But that's where our problem is. So what does rehabilitation look like for someone who's had a stroke? Well, for one, it's going to be expensive. Insurance is going to cover one month of it, and then it's out of your pocket. Secondly, it's inconvenient. If you live in eastern Kentucky, and you have to drive here to Lexington for a one-hour session three times a week, those are three full days that you're driving. And then lastly, it's clinician dependent. Your clinician is going to tell you what exercises to do, how long to do them, and when to come back four hours possibly from Eastern, <clears throat> from Eastern Kentucky. So we decided to improve the uh, sorry. So we, we decided to improve the current hand rehabilitation for stroke survivors. And first thing that we need to focus is that something that is accessible, so that, that's accessible to the patient, not only in the clinic, but also at home something that is, well, not expensive, and something that is customized so that you can get best treatment and comfort when you're having your rehabilitation, and also it should be convenient so that you get the required rehabilitation without even noticing it. Combining all these three together, we came up with the idea of hand print. Hand print is a fully customized 3D printed rehabilitation glove for stroke uh, survivors. And you may wonder why, how it works, so we start with patient consultation. And then from that, we are going to get 2D and 3D image of the patient's hand, getting the required data to 3D print the actual glove, which is hand print, customized rehabilitation. All right, then we're going to look at our market. Uh, here in the US, there is currently 92 million people living with stroke. Uh, out of that 92 million, about 23 of them need specifically hand rehabilitation. And even right here in our backyard of Kentucky, there's 150,000 people that we're easily going to be able to reach uh, with our first views of the company. Um, now, we're obviously not the first people to think about stroke rehabilitation. We do have competitors out there. However, we have a large competitive advantage over every single one of them. Uh, we are customizable, something that no one else is doing on the market, very cost effective. And the main thing is that um, you can, a stroke survivor can put it on by themselves, wear it throughout their daily lives, and improve their daily activities. All right, and so. <coughs> How is our business going to be structured for all of this? Well, first of all, we've already touched on the value that we're proposing with our product. Secondly, we're going to have our customers, not just stroke patients, but also the uh, care providers, the medical professionals that are seeing them. We'll also be partnering with Cardinal Hill here in Lexington, Kentucky. We're working with them right now, and we plan on reaching out to VA hospitals as well as private TT and OT practices. And we'll be connecting with both of these groups through co-creation of community and co customer assistance for those who buy it. We're mainly focusing on online retail, which is something that's not often found for medical devices. For our key activities, we're making this glove and we're focusing on selling it. Uh, our people are going to be our engineers, our sales staff, as well as physical resources are going to be uh, our 3D printers and our computer and software. Our revenue is going to come from gloves initially, but then we'll move on to licensing. And then lastly, our costs come from these four items, which justify our cost of $200 per glove. And then we can look at our financials. Uh, we will be taking a hit in the first year, getting everything set up, buying the technology and materials. But we'll be growing exponentially years two through five. And even with year five of large growth sales, that's just going to be 1% of the market share. So we can grow even more. Mm -hmm. So the hand print team started in August 2017, and right now we are working on the FDA regulation and the feedback from the end user patients. And throughout the year, we are going to be working on the marketing and the local sale. I am Suresh Tarabi, here with Kevin Richardson and Ryan Phillips. We are hand print, a customized rehabilitation. Thank you.